Welcome Scorpio, Rose Burnett here and we're doing an energy reading. It is timeless. I just felt like we needed one. Yeah. So uh, whenever you're watching, this is the most perfect time for you. And a big welcome to those that are new to my channel, those that follow me regularly, you're rocking awesome. And if you want to uh, get my videos through to your feed, make sure to subscribe to my channel, join my community. And if you feel like you need a personal reading that's actually more attuned to your own energy and circumstances, reach out. I'll put the link on this video as well as down below. So we're going to be pulling you a central energy from the beautiful Sacred Power Oracle. And let's see what you need to know, Scorpio. And uh, if you're interested at all, I've got my merch down below, running below this video. You can get my beautiful journals with the art on the cover. Lots of other things there too. Oh, you've pulled protection. Dare I say it's in armament. Mm -hmm. So there may be a need for you to protect yourself at this time from the energies of others. Uh, you know, it's also... Just put some crystals on this, my loves. Oh, it's also watching about how protected you you are. Like how many walls have you placed around yourself to keep people away from you? Whether it's romantically, um, whether you're just feeling like you're a bit vulnerable or a bit insecure and the way of protecting yourself is to push other people away or situations away. Are you protecting yourself so much that you're not getting out of your comfort zone and going after things that you want to do? It's a very interesting question to ask yourself. All right, we're going to have a look at four key areas of focus and we're going to be using Nature's Whispers Oracle for a change. There's a need for you to heighten your vitality. So some of you are overdoing it, possibly not sleeping well, whether it's your diet, your nutrition, getting enough rest and sleep. And you need to get to higher ground, Spirit saying, to look at things from a different perspective. Some of you are in a bit of a state of confusion. Possibly about your next steps or looking at situations where you need to look at it in a different way. Because some of you are feeling like you need to protect yourself. Mm. And to know that you're worth it. You absolutely have value and worth. Uh, particularly, you know, whatever's in your heart space that you truly want. Whether it's love, whether it's a beautiful dream or passion you want to follow. Whether it's just being kind to yourself and spoiling yourself, you're totally worth it, Spirit saying. You've got to know that. Mm. And there's a big message here to keep your dreams alive. So beautiful. Whatever's in your heart space, go on after it. All right, amp this up with some crystals. So we're going to pull you some clarifiers with the energy oracle. First up, let's have a look at heightening your vitality. Ooh, okay. You've got some deceit here. So two messages to this. Some of you have gone through something deceitful that's really affected you, your stress levels, your emotions. And for others that need to get on a bit of a health kick, you can be deceiving yourself and saying things to yourself that's holding you back from doing that, right? So, you know, things like you don't enjoy exercise or you're a certain age and it doesn't really matter or, you know, particularly if you're feeling within self that you want to improve your health, your fitness, your wellness. Mm. The Spirit's saying you need to take action, move yourself forward to heighten your vitality. There's also a thinking man here. So, guys, it kind of feels like you're being very practical and rational. Some of you are developing some sort of fitness plan, fitness goal. Um, mm -hmm. It's coming through quite strongly for the guys. Mm, the Spirit's saying you need to trust your intuition to guide you. If this message resonates with you, let's have a look at this deceit. Oh. Your cornucopia coming in. So there's conflicting messages coming through here. One message coming through is if you're feeling like there's deceit around some situation in your life, trust yourself. Others are deceiving yourself that you can't change your situation, whether it's around your health and well-being or whether it's around your money, because spirits saying cornucopia is coming in. Number eleven, brand new beginnings. Cornucopia is success on every level. Mm-hmm. Some of you are deceiving yourself about that. Let's have a look at higher ground. Mm. Spirit's saying you just need to rely on your strength at this time and take action. Keep moving yourself forward. Oh, you've got this beautiful, happy family around you to support you. So for some of you, things may not be 
going as fast as you want them to and you're doubting yourself or doubting your path you got woman holding her heart here so girls being open ready for love or getting ready for it guys is this is only a divine pair here the masculine energy in this connection is very balanced and grounded if you're in a same-sex relationship read that as you will all right let's have a look at you are worth it you got your community here so there's a lot of support around you some of you may want to build a community. It's directly related to your cornucopia. Because mm. you've got healer of the ages here. Some of you have divine gifts and talents to bring love and light to this world. And there's absolutely a love interest here. A divine pair. Knowing that you're worthy of a beautiful love. And the sun's coming out. This beautiful shift in hope positivity your plans working out perfectly all right let's have a look at keep your dreams alive mm. for some of you it's de directly related to love coming into your life wanting love wanting a beautiful love relationship but it's come out and hand in hand with feeling tied up so some of you definitely holding yourself back from love and holding yourself back from going after your goals your dreams in career and business you got the thinking woman so there's another matching pair here thinking woman thinking man both genders, Scorpio, you need to be very balanced and out of your emotions. Mm. Because sitting under all tied up is anxiety going on. And you got the temple path. So some of you is definitely a path of love and life. You want love and light, service to others, right? For others, you got your angels and spirit guides watching over you. Let's have a look at feeling all tied up and stuck. Mm. Spirit saying you're the magician in the mirror can free yourself at any time. You've got everything within you to create the life you want to create, whether it's to do with love, relationships, your money. Because mm, Spirit, again, is watching over you. Two messages there that Spirit's watching over you. Oh, if you can hear that little noise right now, my dog, my Cocker Spaniel, is having a little happy roll next to me. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's put you some guidance from the Goddess Guidance deck. Let's have a look at heightening your vitality. Your cornucopia coming in, being very balanced, trust in your intuition. You've got Mary Magdalene, unconditional love, treat yourself with kindness, compassion, particularly if you've gone through anything deceitful. And you've got a sure of blossoming abundance. Things are in progress right now, not happening as fast as you want them to. Keep moving forward. And where you can, get out in nature, get your feet on Mother Earth to ground and balance your energies. Let's have a look at getting on, getting to high ground, looking at things from a different perspective. Got strength here, woman holding a heart. Mm, here it is. This came out for you in your last reading, I think. Is this undying love here. Some of you are holding on to a past love that was either deceptive or not. 100% mutual what does that mean that um, it wasn't returned to you it was unrequited love in some aspect or it started off okay and didn't end so well uh, you know spirit saying the love you shared wasn't wasted it was received but it means that it's it's done and dusted don't keep holding on to it it's time to open up to new love because I'm going to give you a message right so when we hold on to this type of love, right, in the past, and we put it on a pedestal. We say it was the best thing that ever happened to us, right? Well, clearly it wasn't because they've left your life. If it was the best thing that ever happened to you, it'd still be in your life. Um, you know, if it was mutually supportive and loving and open and everything else that you wanted to be, it would still be with. they would still be with you. Sometimes things just don't work out because neither of us are ready, right? Or it's a bit of a mismatch. But when we hold it in that space, and whether it's even just the hurt that you're holding on to, right, is that one, you don't allow anybody else in. One, you put somebody else that's in the past on a pedestal so nobody else can compare to them and you close your heart off. And you allow something that's really old to affect the present over and over again and basically stay, being in a state of illusion, living in a state of illusion because it's not in the present moment, it's calm, right? Somebody needed to hear that message. You've also got independence here, right? So you're very independent, which is a beautiful aspect of self. Don't ever apologize for it. 
I'm just going to say, guys and girls, don't go and beat, beat me up in the comments box, right, for what I've just said to you because I'm a transformational coach and sometimes I'll just say it to you how it is because you need to hear it. Mm -hmm. And I'll make no apologies for it. <laughs> I'll kick your butt if you need your butt kicked uh -huh. in a very loving way. Yeah. you also got ice as past life. Some of you definitely recycling through the past. Yep. All right, let's have a look at you are worth it. There is a beautiful love sitting here. Some of you want to follow a path of love and light. Your friendships here, the sun coming out. You got May Eve, cycles and rhythms. Watch your energy levels. Take some time out when you need to. Yeah, and you got Lakshmi, bright future. Stop worrying. Everything's going to be fine. All right, let's have a look at keeping your dreams alive. Some of you feeling stuck in spirit saying you're the magician in your own life. A lot here about spirit watching over you. Yeah. Be bold, take risks, go after what it is you want. Again, you got the message to get near bodies of water. So Mother Earth, getting near water is going to be very soothing for you. All right, you got two here. You got Bridget, don't back down, stand up for yourself and do what you know is right. So not letting others guide your path. You do what's right for you. Three messages on this side, my loves. Guardian angels watching over you. Three messages of divine protection and support. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the crystal reading deck. The healing deck. All right, let's have a look at this top row about heightening your vitality. Keep moving towards your goals, your dreams. You've got your cornucopia here. Oh, you're absolutely going to shine. But you've got to recognize, Scorpio, what aspects of self do you need to be working on? One, it's your health and your fitness, right? Others, it's creating emotional balance and letting go of the baggage of the past. Others, it's stepping out of your comfort zone and really going after your goals, your dreams. All right, let's have a look at getting to higher ground. Other, you know, there's a lot here about letting the past go and opening up to new love. Uh, you've got the Bodhi Stones balance. So you need to balance the masculine and feminine energies. Right in the center of your reading, got protection, right? So your masculine energy is your protector. It is... That part of self that puts healthy boundaries in place with people speaks up for yourself when, you know, you're not getting your needs met and you deserve to get your needs met, particularly in relationships. It's that part of self that is strong enough to follow your own path and to believe in your divine gifts and talents, whatever those are. Your feminine side is your emotional side, your sensitivity, your sense, you know, your creative side, your sense of fun and adventure. Mm -hmm. Bring both of those into balance. All right, let's have a look at you are worth it. And dare I say there's love sitting here. Mm. Again, you got the message to get to higher ground, look at things from a different perspective, shift your perspective. If you don't shift your perspective, Scorpio, some of you are going to stay stuck and stuck for a while. Okay, there's another message channeling through, right, is when we keep telling ourselves the same old story, particularly in terms of past love, things that didn't work out, things that were deceitful, things that really hurt us, right, when we keep telling that same old story, instead of it being a life experience, right, we make it part of our life and we start living that experience over and over again. Now, if you leave that, and, and I'm going to say it's a big warning, right, if you keep doing that for a certain extended period of time, that becomes your story permanently because you just keep living it and living it and you'll never get out of and escape the hurt that happened. You'll never escape. You'll just, because there's a payoff. There's an absolutely a payoff when you do that because it means you don't have to open yourself up to love. It means you don't have to get hurt again. It means you don't have to do X, Y, Z to get out of your comfort zone and go after your goals and dreams to know that you're deserving of all the beautiful things in life. There is absolutely a payoff means you don't have to do things. You don't have to get hurt. You don't have to put yourself on the line and be vulnerable. Mm, so many big messages coming through in your reading. You're kind of like blue. There's a need for you to let go. Music's going to help you do that. Do some guided meditations. I'll link in the guided meditation playlist. Do anything to do with healing the heart chakra. First of all, do any to do with releasing attachments for self. Then heal the heart chakra. All right, let's have a look at the other side over here where there's so much divine protection over you and keeping your dreams alive. Mm, absolutely got to keep moving yourself forward and take action. Don't stay stuck. And you've got clear quartz purification, definitely a cleanse going on, all aspects of self. 
Mm. You are going to get more clarity about what's been bothering you, what's holding you stuck, where you're holding yourself stuck. And third time you got the message to get your feet out on Mother Earth. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Messenger Oracle. Mm, you've got to embrace the feminine, which is your softer side, your gentler side. To know your fears, yeah, anything coming up for you that's fear-based, that's holding you back from love, from life. And to see the truth in the situations about how you're showing up. Are you holding yourself stuck? You have the message to nurture all your love. Those things are most important to you, things that light your soul up, the people that are beautiful and supportive around you. Again, you've got the strength card. You're very strong. All right, let's have a look at your chakra balance. And again, you've got music. Big message here about music. Guided meditation, sound therapy, playing music, dancing to music. Get it happening, Scorpio. Oh, as I say, that guided meditations has come out. Mm -hmm. Oh, a fitness routine has come out. This is related to your health and vitality. So some of you putting off your fitness going, oh, it's not, I'm just not into it. <laughs> we can all do that. Super important, spirit saying. All right, let's have a look at your spirit messages. Oh, so you've got justice coming. You've got divine justice, karmic justice coming. Wants to happen for you. Um, I'm going to say but. It's not going to happen for you if you don't move yourself out of the stuck state. Yeah, because right next to that, you've got release attachments. Massive message coming through. You're going through a spiritual awakening. Or you're going to allow yourself to go through this spiritual awakening when you allow yourself to let go of the past. Mm -hmm. All right, let's pull you a healing message from your angels. We got compassion. When you shower greater compassion towards yourself, the universe is going to automatically respond by showering you with greater blessings. So do not be hard on yourself. Do not be hard. Don't beat yourself up about choices you've made, mistakes you've made. Let it go. All right, we're going to pull you a final energy from the beautiful Heart and Soul Oracle. What is it Scorpio needs to know? really thinking about it here we go oh this is super interesting it's like she's got two snakes wrapped around her yeah it's an angel standing there it says tune into the subtle and divine force within me and you shall sense the subtle and divine force within yourself and all living things over the coming days, there is a heightened sense of spiritual connection with Isis, the goddess of motherhood, magic, and fertility. So Isis is the goddess of healing from ancient Egypt, very powerful. Mm -hmm. You have the power to do this beautiful healing that needs to happen, Scorpio. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Love to hear feedback, your comments down below and how it resonated with you. Join our community, hit that subscribe button, reach out for a personal reading if you feel like you need one. And for now, take it easy. Much love, much light. Namaste.